Hello, and welcome back to Malachi's Journey to Financial Freedom. We're talking about the Waka Waka EA today. I have had a couple of people that asked me to do a video about my set file, show you what it is, as well as to run through the results that I've been running it live since September 5th on this account. So we're jump in. I'm going to show you the live account to set file. Then we'll run to the MyFX book and show the drawdown. I know a ton of people have been talking about being in deep drawdowns on Waka Waka. So I thought I'd just go ahead and do this and see if we can identify where the problem might lie. Okay, so first off, we'll take a look right here. I am running Waka Waka and Golden Pickaxe on the same account. I do have it set up in portfolio mode. Let's go ahead and jump right into the set file for this. I'm going to take a little bit of time to run through this set file. I know everyone asks me just to give them the set file. I really feel that everyone out there should understand how to create themselves because I do make mistakes sometimes when I set up my own set file, click a wrong button, and it doesn't work for people. So right now, lot sizing method. This is the big one. I am running significant risk. I have been running significant risk the entire time that I've been running this set file. All right. And let's just run down. I didn't change any of this. Max symbols at a time is two. I do believe when we looked it up, that does only for Waka Waka. It does not count the golden pickaxe symbols. Okay, allow hedging is true. I did see someone the other day said, hedging doesn't work on Valerie's trading bots. That's not true. All it does with hedging is when it's into a deeper drawdown, if it sees an entry point going the other way that hits what would normally be an entry point, it will do it. Mine did that last week. It does pick up a small profit, which was about $8, not that much. Uh, buy and sell obviously is set. I really should have the floating drawdown. I have it on my PAI bot going to be 30% max floating drawdown. And normally what I do if I do that is I prohibit opening new grids. And what that does for me is it just... If it really pushes one direction, when it gets to 30%, I get to stop and look at where it's at. I can always open more grids or something like that. So I don't have that set on this. I'm not going to change it for right now. It really isn't. We'll see. It's only in about a 10% or 11% drawdown right now. And it's April, or I'm sorry, March 30th. So end of March here. So I do have it to not trade on holidays. I did not switch that uh, during Christmas. I turned it off and I've left it off. Running down here, I am running Odd New Zealand, Odd CAD, New Zealand CAD. Those are the recommended pairs. Suffix for Ox Securities is dot .pro. I found that this can be case specific. And I've even found that in some places, you have to put it right there before the comma. So it'd be Odd New Zealand dot .i. One of the ones was dot .i for a a prop firm account. And it, that's the only way I could get it to work. I'm not running custom multipliers, but if you were, you could put it there. I did not change any of the period settings for the Bollinger Band RSI. All that is, is entry information. Don't know if people have changed that. This is the way they came. Take profit set at 10. That's the way it was. Weighted take profits true. I do believe that's for when you're opening grids. I have smart take profit turned off. Stop losses are turned off. For the grids and the multipliers, this is the standard setting. Second trade is the same as the first, and then they double, and then it goes to 1.6. Maximum opening trades I have set is nine. I have not seen nine that I can remember on this. I do have the advanced news filter on. And I wait 15 minutes. This is the normal setting before and after news. I know other people have done more than that. Uh, so far, this has worked for me. Stock market crash filter is turned to true. So it works off the US 500 or the S&P 500 index. And if it has a max historical volatility of 40%, then it shuts down trading. Everything else there is the same. 
that's literally my setup right there, folks. You've seen it. I'm going to cancel that. And what we're going to look at real quick, I'm just going to change this so we can see a little bit more history. You might see here where it looks like it should have closed this trade. I was watching that because of all the stuff that's been going on. And that was the opening spread Monday morning. So Sunday night, Monday morning, when the Australian market opened, there was a really large spread. Um, the ask and the bid were so far apart. And you can kind of see that if I zoom in right in here, you've got that same opening day spread. That was the 21st. It's the 28th. And right in here over the weekend, you've got this huge spread. And we'll jump right into the MyFX book. So first off, I'll show you on the custom analysis. I don't have it set to screen anything. It does include the gold. I will show you the difference with and without gold. It's pretty minimal. I can't remember when I added that in. I got the free golden pickaxe from Valerie Trading. I got that free license. So I went ahead and I'm using it on a very low, the low risk balanced volume just to add, hopefully add like an extra half a percent or a percent to the account every month. So that's everything. I did open this account September 5th. And you can see today is March 28th. The max drawdown was 29.38%, which we did have back in November, right here, November 1st. And if you look at the growth, that's also the same time we had this very big spike in growth because when it does pull out of those big swings, it does make money. Other than that, it's been a real solid, steady growth. We're hitting 5.85% a month. And I just want to pull out I'm going to pull out the gold real quick on that. And if we pull out the gold, we're hitting 5.71% a month. So it's not even really giving me a tenth of a percent a month. I guess I should boost up the, the risk on that a little bit, but I'm okay with that. It's just squeaking out a little bit more profit for me. Let's We're going to roll down here. As you can see, of course, I am in odd New Zealand. We're in one, two, three, four, five of those. I know guys have said they're in eight and nine of them. I don't know why mine didn't take the trade other than the fact that I'm running the portfolio mode maybe is the only thing different that I might be doing. As you can see, November where we had that big swing was a 17% month. Everything else has been kind of slow. 3.5, four, three and a half. And then January was 5.2. February is 4.8. March 3% so far is close to 3%, but we still hitting that average of 5.85%. I'm okay with that. I have taken withdrawals from this. The current balance is $5,944. And I've, I think we were as high as 90, yeah, 9,800. And I withdrew some money. The profit on this over that time frame has been $2,600. So we are running this Ox Securities, a one in 500. And let's just run down here. Let's run, look at the duration of this. So the majority of the trades are closing less than two days. Really right in here, about just over one day is where the majority, if you can see the line right in here. And the longest this has held a trade was 11 days, eight hours. Of the trades we've got open now, I feel like that's, maybe these don't count because they haven't closed yet, because that looks like it's been more than 11 days. So when this closes, I think we'll be hitting a new record, but still, it is it it is what it is. That's a pretty small trade, and the swap fees have been pretty minimal. And actually, we're making money on the swap fees right now. We've made $5 on the swap fees because Odd New Zealand sales are paying me every day to hold them. So I'm going to just, we're just going to keep play this out. I'm not going to change anything and we'll just see how it goes. Uh, current drawdown right now, we are at, according to this, 8.66%. So folks, I've been running Waka Waka for seven months. I did buy this, uh, I think in May last year, and I ran it on a demo for about three months. And then I ran it on a live account on the high risk setting in August. It did really well but I backed it down after looking at the numbers and decided I'd really rather run it on the, the significant risk, which is one step below that, that high risk. So I hope this helps you guys. I hope this helps folks out there look at the set file and seeing how things are working. And I'm really 
I feel bad for people that have had their accounts blown. And I really do wish I could, we could figure out where the difference is and why my account hasn't taken those trades, but theirs has. So I'll catch you on the next one. Do me a favor. If you do like what you see, hit the like, hit the subscribe. I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers so that I can show the back end of YouTube and how much YouTube pays content providers for providing content. Have a good weekend.